hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i'll show you how to run a cuda c program in your google collab setup right so the first thing we need to do we'll need to change our runtime to a gpu so we'll simply change it to t4 gpu and let's save it let's wait for the connect and um, it will it might take some time Okay, now it's connected, right? So the first we need to check that if my collab environment has a GPU available, right? So we'll do that using nvc version command, right? So it's showing us that the version of NVIDIA CUDA, then in the next cell, we'll, we need to install the nvcc for Jupyter that allows us to write the CUDA program in Colab Notebook. I will do that using pip, simply install, then nvcc for Jupyter. Let's run this cell. And yes, so we have downloaded our nvcc for Jupyter. Now, once it's installed, we need to load the extension into our notebook with this command, right? With this, the command is load ext with nvcc for Jupyter. All right. So this is all you have to do to set up your Colab notebook so that you can run your CUDA C program. So let's write a CUDA C program First, we need to tell our collab that we are writing a CUDA program. So we'll simply write this person person CUDA. Then as it is a C program, so the first thing we need to do that we need to include our header files. So hashtag in sorry include stdio.h right. Then int main. return zero now let's print that hello CUDA from GPU right so we need to use this function which is called a global and global void let's say hello CUDA and this particular global function is very important because this is the kernel function that tells the code that this particular block of code will run from the GPU okay so what I want to print from the GPU, I want to print, let's say, hello CUDA, and I want to print 10 line. So, okay. I want to print 10 statements. So I'll use the backslash and so that all the statements comes one after another. Now I need to launch that. I need to launch this global function, right? So for this, I'll simply call this hello CUDA and this is the way you need to launch. So one statement in each of 10 threads, then simply you call the function. That's it. Okay. Then, okay, I think it's get disconnected. Okay, no worry. Did I change this? Okay, no, it's all right. Okay. Now, our next step is that we need to ensure that when the program runs, that it waits for all the threads to complete before it exits, right? So for that, we'll use this syntax CUDA device synchronize CUDA device synchronize right and this ensures that the program waits until all the threads gets executed okay so why this error is so you know hello CUDA is not defined I think it's let's run this program first
Ah, oh, sorry. Syntax error. All right, yeah. So we have printed 10 time hello CUDA using 10 individual threads, right? And there you have it, hello CUDA from all threads running from our GPU, right? So I hope this quick tutorial helps you to get started with your CUDA C program in Colab. And if you found this video helpful, so don't forget to like, share, share and subscribe to the channel. And we'll program multiple CUDA C program in future video. So thanks for watching.